Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. All right, I want to start off by saying, call halal la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew for Yahweh. All right, for all praises, excuse me, for all, it means all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Tizer War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And, um, you know, it's pretty late. You know, it's not too late, but I've been going to bed a little early now, so it's late. All right, but um, anyway, um, I want to speak about this matter. I wasn't going to. Um, you know, this deals with a, a issue, you know, not with a brother in Great Millstone, but uh, a guy who was one who is a part of another camp. And um, I'm not going to say no names. I'm going to just speak through the spirit. All right. And lay it out there for all of the hopeful elect. You know, you newly fruit coming in. You must know that this truth is serious, man. All right. And if you, you know, when you repent and you throw away the old man, you put away the old man, you know, the way that you was in the world. He was probably, you know, um, being a nigga, gangbanger, you know, adulterer, you know, uh, which is a man having sex with another man's wife. All right. You know, all the things smoking weed, drugs or selling drugs. All right. You put those things away. You are not to go back to those things. And and you damn sure. <laughs> let me say this, man. You damn sure better not be camping and talking about the Lord is going to destroy two thirds. And on the side, you hustling, you selling drugs. All right. So that's what I, you know, started off with this scripture. Exodus 22. And 18, you know, because um, there's no way in hell that you are prophesizing and, you know, you're hustling and selling drugs on the side. You know, that is, you're going to be destroyed. All right. You're going to be destroyed, man. Now, I'm going to get to the scriptures. This is Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You know, you if you you know, basically a witch is a is a female, you know, that deals with, you know, perverse spirits, you know, that deals with witchcraft and, you know, whipping up potions, you know, so people, you know, that, you know, digest or uses the potions, the witchcraft, you know, they will have some type of ability, you know, to gain in this world. You know, so that's a witch, a female, you know, but now you have a male, which is, you know, known as a warlock. They have a male witch. All right. And a modern day witch today, you know, uh, goes, you know, as men performing certain rituals, uh, you know, dealing, conjuring up spirits on the left hand side. You know, Esau, he's a he's a warlock. All right. When it comes to his medicine. All right. He puts chemicals together. He mix, you know, potions together and he feeds you these potions and you take them and they come with side effects. Just like as well is an Israelite. All right. That's selling drugs in the hood. You are. I don't care if you're selling it to Edomites. That's going off, man. All right. Because you are a warlock. When you get your drugs, you sit down, you contemplate, you cut it up. You determine how much money you're going to make off your pack. You go find a block. You go pitch on. You know, you are a warlock. A modern day warlock. You are not a prophet. All right. Whew, man, I'm keep my cool because it's crazy, you know, and it's the spirit. You know, you had, um, you know, Egghead, uh, Mac 10 with Vo Hocat Malone. All right. You had him. Coming out of nowhere, chasing clout, want to be seen, talking shit, you know. So this is the flavor of the week, man. You also had this dude, uh, I believe his name is Malak Shah. You know, he did a video, uh, which is stupid. 
you know, just basically plagued with those seven demons, you know, seven more demons that come upon you when you leave this truth. And he's showing us that he's tatted up, you know, so that's just that repo big spirit, you know, and this is the flavor of the week. This was, you know, this happened about, about a week ago, two weeks ago. A brother seen this guy pitching, you know, straight up, you know, caught him, man. But, you know, they not of great millstone. They from a different camp. All right. And this is why I'm thankful. I'm going to just throw in there the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, man. For guiding not just my steps, but, the you know, the brothers in the camp to, to, to go in the way of righteousness. You know, it's beautiful, man. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right. So even from there, let me get the next scripture. Let's get um Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. Alright, because if you repent and you study, you know, and then you cross that line, you become a brother in the camp. You it's you it's no way in hell you're supposed to be dealing and dabbling in the world, man. You know? You supposed to be a brother, not a nigga. You know, you should put away those childish things, those, let me say those worldly things, man. You know, that's why, you know, before when the doors was open to Great Millstone for brothers to come in, you would have brothers on the side and they would have to show their due diligence, you know. And whenever the spirit was right upon the men, ranked men in the camp, they would decide whether if this brother, this guy can cross because brothers would have to, brothers have to figure you out, man. Brothers that have to see if you truly all about, you know, scriptures say, try to uh, 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 try the spirit. You know, you show your due diligence, man. You know, in season, out of season, show, 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 show that, you know, you are brother. All right. And you cross the line and you still out dibbling and dabbling, ripping and running the world. The most high is going to destroy you, man. He's going to destroy you. And guess what? You're not only yourself because you're being selfish. All right. Not only yourself is causing uh, a bad spirit amongst the amongst yourself, but you causing that wicked spirit to be amongst your camp. All right. This is why you got to cut off the leaven. This is why not every brother could just come in the truth. Not every brother could. Excuse me. Not every brother. Excuse me. Not every brother could just cross the line and be in the camp. See, the elders, apostles of Great Millstone taught us, all right, to, to, uh, to have that, to be vigilant, man, to see, man, to discern, you know. We have to be dragons, man, all right. And through the help of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al through the Rakah Kodash, he guides our steps in righteousness, that shit is crazy, man. You know? So it says, let's get the scripture. This is Matthew 7 and 1. Judge not that ye be not judge. This is a scripture that's famous among, you know, our people in the world. They love to use this, this one verse, Matthew 7 and 1. Judge not that ye be not judge. You know, they think that no man could judge them. All right? The famous Tupac song, no man could judge me but God. All right. But guess what? When you read the scriptures and get understanding, you didn't learn that the most high have set up judges amongst you. He set up the prophets to be his mouthpiece to speak to you. Isaiah 58 and one cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. That's judging. All right. So let's read. It says, judge not that ye be not judged for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with and with what measure ye met ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Okay, so if you're not walking in the right, right ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and you're judging, you're gonna be judged with the same judgment that you measured their judgment with. The same measurement of judgment you cast upon them is that same measurement of judgment that's gonna come upon you, man. Shame on you, man. All right. It says, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. 
and with what measure ye measure, ye meet, okay, it shall be measured to you again. Now, this is Yahweh Shai speaking because the Lord taught us ultimately how to judge, okay? He, you know, through incarnation, he was Solomon, and Solomon was the, one of the righteous judges, okay? The, the, uh, the man of wisdom, man, okay? So now, verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Exactly. You know, there was a bunch of hypocrites when Yahweh Shai was walking the earth when he was here, okay, 2,000 years ago. All right, when he was dealing with the with some of with some of the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees, man. There was a, a lot of them were hypocrites. They kept the, you know, they would push the law, but they wasn't keeping the law themselves. So Yahweh Shai was cutting them, man. Because he was speaking the truth. It says, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but consider if not the beam that is in thy own eye? So how are you going to be out there prophesizing and telling men to, uh, to uh, the most high is going to destroy two thirds? And here it is you out there doing the same thing that the two thirds do. You know, there's some serious judgment coming from the Lord, man. And right now, we're in a time of mercy, man. We're in a, let me say this again. There's some serious judgment coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And we're in a time of seeking mercy. Because soon the doors of mercy, mercy is going to be closed, man. That is outrageous. That is crazy, man. But the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, that he continued to guide the righteous men. All right, the whole for elect, you know, he got their steps in righteousness, man. You know, keep that charge of angels around those men. You know, the ones that's of the elect. All right. It says, and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thy own eye? Or how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thy eye and behold a beam is in thy own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. So you have to clean up your house first, which is you and your temple, man. You have to clean your act up first. This is why when you you learn in the scriptures, it's a period of a time where you have to study. A period of time you have to the mote you have to pray. That the Lord have, help, helps you retain this knowledge within your spirit. All right. You study. You study. And then there's a period and a time where you, you go out. You know. This is this, this, it's, it's a repentance takes time, man. Because the Lord want to see you fight against the world, man. You know, as our apostles tell us, man, the biggest enemy is yourself. You know, and guess what? You can't blame anybody else for your faults you can't blame the next man for your wickedness uh, i'm thinking i'm um romans 14 you know um uh, let me get the slack here let me get it real quick romans 14 down at the end of the verse uh it says verse 22 hast thou faith have it to thyself before the most high Happy is he that condemneth not himself in a thing which he alloweth. So happy is he that do, that condemneth not himself in a thing that he alloweth. You understand that, man? You allow yourself to uh you allow those demons to 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 drive you like a Maserati. All right? You allow those spirits to come upon your mind. You know, you you know, you being amongst niggas Never getting away from your homeboys of the world. Still keeping that mentality of a nigga. Instead of being a brother. You know, not studying, not praying. You allowed it, man. So the scriptures say, happy is he that condemneth not himself in the thing which he alloweth. Because you can't blame the most high for you going off. You can't say the most high made you sin. You allowed those demons and you will you put forth the action. You manifest. All right. The wickedness. 
So now you're going to be judged, man. You know? I don't want to... I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to get to the next scripture. You know, because I can go a little further, but, you know... This is for the hopeful elect, you know, and, war and it's a warning. It's a warning, man, for the new fruit. You brothers out there, man, be sincere, man, because this truth is, 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 <sighs> this truth is life and death, man. It's life or death. It's no in between, man. It's no middle, man. It's life, which is Yahweh Bashem or it's death, which is Satan, which is Esau. Which one, man? There's no playing around with the Lord, man. This truth is serious. Your life is on the line. You got these Edomites, military, you know, the elites watching the videos, seeing your face, seeing you curse them out. You don't think they got, you know, tabs on you? You don't think they researching you? You don't think they're spotting out where you live? You don't think they, you know, seeing what's your background or who in your family? You know, what, how your route is run, where you live, what you do for a living. You want a uh, going back to the to the uh, Project Megiddo, which they listed a red list and a blue list and a yellow list. More than likely, did you not count the cost that you can be on a red list? This is life or death, man. But let alone them, the most high is terrible, man. All right. Because that's just Esau. But the most high is the true terror. You know? The most high can torment you, man. He can turn you into a homosexual, man. Alright? The most high know of the inward parts of man. And I just recently did a lesson on that. About the inward part of man. The most high will destroy you, man. Anyway. This is 2 Peter chapter 2 and 12. Let me see here. All right. It says, but these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not and they utterly perish in their own corruption. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. As they that are count as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime spots, they are and blemishes fording themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin you know these are men that cannot cease from sin you know and one great sin is you being a damn warlock man how can you possibly you know pick up the plow and go out there and labor and talk about two thirds being destroyed but on a secret you on the street hustling. The most high is going to destroy you, man. It says, having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Be galling unstable souls and heart that have exercised with covetous practice. Cursed children which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray. Following the way of Balaam the son of Boser, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. So really, you love the wages of unrighteousness, man. Okay? Because there's nothing right about you. There's no way you can justify a man selling drugs, man. You know, I heard, you know, I heard before, years ago, this, you know, guy said what? You know, as long as you selling to Edomites. No, it ain't no selling no weed, man. It's no selling no type of drug, man. That's going the fuck off, man. Straight up, man. You cannot justify that. You're supposed to be a prophet. You're supposed to stand standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. You're supposed to be an example. You know, it's the reason why you gave your body as a living sacrifice. We can't do what the world do. Um... Uh, uh, certain things we may want, we may choose to do. And knowing that it's really not unrighteousness, but things you have to sacrifice 
Because why? It's not expedient, man. Okay? Like for an example, you know, there's no law that a, a brother can't go to a party in the scriptures. You know, there's no law where you could go you can't go to a club. But guess what? Is it expedient? Is is it is it is it is it the time, you know, that you know you should be going into a a, a club and a party? Should you be in that spirit? No. All right? You know, but also too, here at Great Millstone, this is why we got spiritual fathers who watch out for our souls. We take orders. And that's why it's all about order. Because here at Great Millstone, you shouldn't be going to no clubs, man. Because Great Millstone is a camp, is a, a, a the band of Great Millstone is brothers of prophets, man. Prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, we watching and knowing the time. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. There's a time and purpose under the heavens, man. All right? No way in hell, man, that you should be selling and hustling on the street, man. You know? Your brothers got to take these lessons in for warning, man. Even if you tempted, you know? Ain't nobody going to know. Nah, the Lord sees everything, man. All right. Um, verse 15. Which hath forsaken the right way and gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Boser, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass speaking with man's voice forbade the madness of the prophet. These are well without these are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For they can for they that excuse me, for when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they are lured through lust of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. You know, you're a freaking fucking hypocrite, man. It says, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord, and Savior Yahweh Mashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So you should have never had, you know, picked up the path, the plow and started to work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because the latter end of you is worse than it was from the beginning. You should have just been a person in the world that never knew of this truth or Never, you despise the truth. All right. And I'm gonna, I got one more scripture too after this, which hits it on the nail, man. Because you're not gonna taste of this heavenly gift of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and not see judgment, man. All right. Hey, you, oh, man. You know, but, um, you know, it kind of, this, this, this thought, and I was watching videos and I'm thinking of the matter and it just hit me and I said, let me do a video, man. You know, it's got to get out there because because it should be a warning for the brothers, the new fruit, man. You brothers that's just learning the scriptures and coming in, got like a couple of months, year, two years, whatever and you're learning. Take this as a warning. Take these characters, these wicked men, these false prophets, all right, and these epistles that the brothers do, you know, take it with warning, take it with heed, man, you know, because it, it can lead to you and your salvation. This is what this thing is about. It's... We, we hoping to be delivered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Not destroyed. You know, if you truly believe, then you're going to take heed. So anyway, it says, um, for after they have, verse 20, for after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, they are, in, are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to know the way of righteousness. than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. A dog is turned into his own vomit again. 
and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. All right. So you a dog turned back to your vomit, man. You know. It's, it's so many other things I want to say, but I'm not, you know, because I'm going to keep this on the surface. Hebrews 6 and 1. I'm going to keep it on the surface, man. You know, because there's more to it, man. I know. <laughs> this is crazy, man. You know, but this is a warning, man. All right. You know, we deal with issues within our camp and here in Great Millstone. You other camps, you know, this is why we prophesize and we, we rebuke. We, we reprove because it's not out of a hate or I dislike this brother or I hate this brother. It's not. It's for you to do good. It's for you to, to do the right thing. Follow the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Follow the word. You know, be sincere. That's what these lessons are for. You know? So this is, uh, let's see what I had. Hebrews 6 and 1. Okay. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Hamashiach, let us go on unto, unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from the dead works of the faith toward the Most High, of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on the hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. Verse 3. And this will I and this will we do if the most high permit. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have taste of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify themselves the son of the most high afresh and put him to an open shame. So Yahweh Shai is going to get you, man. He going to get you, man. You know, you made Yahweh Shai, you know, basically crucified afresh. You know, you shame the Lord again. You, it's like spitting in the Lord's face after the Lord supped with you. You know, all them nights, your mo you know, you read those scriptures, you studied, you know, you, um, uh, you uh been around uh men that was anointed and that broke the word down. That was the Lord, man. And then here it is, you deceiving the world as if you a prophet, but then you out here selling drugs, man. All right. It says, verse six, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the son of the most high afresh and put him to an open shame. For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh off upon it and bringeth forth herbs meet for them by whom it is dressed receive blessings from the Most High. And that which beareth thorns and bribers is rejected and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation though we thus speak so everything that we do is always accompanying what salvation man all right this thing like i said before it's about salvation you know we should be fearing the lord that's that's that 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 lets you know that that this man doesn't you don't fear the lord man you don't fear the lord all right if you if you fear the lord and you trusted in the lord if you needed money you know, the Lord would have make a way for you to escape. You pray, you know, you, you, you continue to put the Lord first. The scripture say, when have the righteous been forsaken and begging bread? Come on, man, there's no faith. But here it is, you know, you never have faith because faith is what? A gift given to you by the Most High. All right. So it says, but beloved, uh, we are persuaded better things of you. And things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. You know, when you sacrifice, you give your bodies a living sacrifice. You start to, you know, you be in the spirit of the Lord and then your family coming against you. You're going through them trials and tribulations, man. You know, you're going through that, 
you know, demons attacking you and shit, all because you believe. You know, you ain't did nothing to nobody. But because you believe, you catching hell. Family members talking shit about you and shit. You went through all of that. The Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, man. Every time that you defended them, you know, you got angry because somebody offended you coming at you. The Lord not unrighteous to forget that. But you got to be patient, man. It's all about being patient. Now, this, like I said, this show is for the brothers of the hopeful elect, the newly fruit, you know, and, and brothers in need, you know, whoever, you know, because them demons do jump on brothers, whether you've been in the truth for years or not, you know. You got to remain in that strong faith, that faith that you had when you first, you know, when you first believed, when you first found out of this truth, when that, when the word whispered into your ear, the spirit, you know, never look back, man. So it says, uh, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he have showed toward his name. All right. That's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And that ye have ministered to the saints, which are the Israelites, and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. So as a, as a brother in a camp, we all got to show the same diligence, man. As a body. And this is what the apostles push heavy, man, upon us. That all the brothers here at Great Millstone show the same diligence, man. Time after time, Elder Apostle Sahar pushed out the, the uh, vibration of you got lukewarm men, you know. You got some men on fire. You got some men that look like they're ready to clunk out. Well, that's why the apostles is pushed because we he's pushing that vibration for you to get into the work because it's for your salvation. And it says what? As it says in verse 11, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence, man. See, if you diligent in this work, you wouldn't be dead thinking about selling no drugs, man. You wouldn't dare be out there on the corner doing such a thing. That shit is crazy. It says, um, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. See, we should we we doing we giving diligence to this work of Yahweh Bashem Shah and our labor so that we have a full assurance of hope unto the end. You know, when the Lord changes to a low state, all right, the most high is gonna be there with us. The most high is gonna have a fulfilling Psalms 91, Job the fifth chapter. You know, Lord Most High having a, a uplifting us in the end. Brothers receiving spiritual powers. You know, brothers, you know, being delivered on the chariots. All right. The full insurance of hope unto the end. And we at the end, man. It says, verse 12, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. And who is that? That's the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, brothers down the line and like minded doing the works, man. The videos you see every day, brothers putting forth. You know, their, their talents, man. This is what you want to follow. The truth. It says that ye be not slothful, but followers. And, you know, the thing was last week with, uh, what was that, Baltimore, that demon out there with the afro from Israelite branches coming at the brothers from GMS Baltimore talking shit against the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, this thing was said, oh, you followers of men. Well, I think I'm reading a verse where, where Paul speaks about you have to be followers of men. You have to be followers of those of the good. Those that anointed and teaches that's teaching you the truth. I'm going to read it again. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith, because it's about faith and patience, which patience goes into suffering, meaning we suffer. Inherit the promises because we inherit the promises, man. Okay, so you know, I think that's it for this show. A few scriptures I had lined up, I jotted down on my note. Um, let me see here. Yeah, you know, I had to jot them down. I was just meditating in the spirit, I was watching a couple of videos, like I said, and I just wanted to bring this out, man. You know, I ain't mentioned any names, but 
you know, it is what it is, man. This is a warning, man. You know? And um us brothers in Great Millstone, you know, if you uh got those demons on you, brother, you gotta fast, you gotta pray. You know, if you even got those thoughts, man, you know, hey, talk to your brother, you know, who in the camp. Talk to a brother close and brother pick you up in the spirit. Don't be like these reprobates, man. You know, these guys that want to do their own thing and here it is. You're not having order, man. You know, not having order. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. And brothers, stay strong, brothers. To the whole for elect. Shalom.